Hello everyone, now let us see the summary of factors that affect the bone growth. First of all, let us discuss about minerals. The calcium and phosphate, they make bones extracellular matrix hard. And magnesium helps to form the bones extracellular matrix. Then fluoride ion, it helps strengthen the bones extracellular matrix. Coming to manganese, it activates the enzymes involved in the synthesis of bone extracellular matrix. Now coming to vitamin A and vitamin C. Vitamin A is needed for the activity of osteoblast during the remodeling of bone and deficiency shuts down the bone growth and it is also toxic in high doses. Vitamin A is also toxic in high doses. Coming to vitamin C, it is needed for the synthesis of collagen, the main bone protein. Deficiency leads to decreased collagen production which slows the bone growth and delays the repair of the broken bone. Next coming to vitamin D. Active form of vitamin D is calcitrol. It is produced by the kidneys. Active form of vitamin D, calcitrol is produced by the kidneys. Helps build bone by increasing the absorption of calcium from gastrointestinal tract into the blood. Deficiency causes faulty calcification and slows down the bone, bone growth and may reduce the risk of osteoporosis but is toxic if taken in high doses. People who have mineral exposure to ultraviolet rays or do not or do not take vitamin D supplements may not have sufficient vitamin D to absorb calcium and this interferes with the calcium metabolism. The next is vitamin K and vitamin B12. They are needed for the synthesis of bone proteins. Deficiency leads to abnormal protein production in the bone, extracellular matrix and decreases the bone's density. Now coming to human growth hormone, it is secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. It promotes the general growth of all body tissues including bone mainly by stimulating the production of insulin-like growth factors. Now coming to insulin like growth factors IGFs, they are secreted by the liver, bones and other tissues on stimulation by human growth hormone. They promote the normal bone growth by stimulating the osteoblast and by increasing the synthesis of proteins needed to build a new bone. Now coming to thyroid hormones T3 and T4, they are secreted by thyroid gland. They promote the normal bone growth by stimulating osteoblast and they also increase the insulin secretion by pancreas and promote the overall normal bone growth by increasing the synthesis of bone proteins. Now coming to sex hormones, they are estrogens and testosterone secreted by ovaries in the woman that are estrogens and by testis in male that is testosterone. They stimulate the osteoblast and promote the sudden growth spurt that occurs during the teenage years. Shut down growth at epiphyseal plate around the age of 18 to 21, causing the lengthwise growth of the bone to end. And it contribute, they contribute to bone remodeling during the adulthood by slowing the bone resorption by osteoclasts and promote the bone deposition by osteoblasts. Next, coming to parathyroid hormone, secreted by the parathyroid glands, it promotes the bone resorption by osteoclast, enhances the recovery of calcium ions from urine, promotes the formation of active form of vitamin D, that is calcitonin. Next is calcitonin. It is secreted by thyroid gland, CT. It inhibits the bone resorption by osteoclast. Coming to other factors like exercise and aging. Coming to exercise, weight bearing activities stimulate osteoblasts and consequently help build thicker, stronger bones and retard the loss of bone mass that occurs as people age. And finally, coming to aging, as the level of the sex hormones diminishes during the middle age to older adulthood especially in women after menopause, 
the resorption by osteoclast outpaces bone deposition by osteoblasts which leads to decrease in the bone mass and an increased risk of osteoporosis thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cpc training